dreams. You yes. found fame as Mr. Gilbert, a teacher in the dreams. Yes. And now, nothing but versatile, nothing but versatile, in Man Down, series two on Channel 4, coming back very soon, playing a teacher. Yes. Mm -hmm. It starts on at 10 p.m. Monday, the 1st of June. And this is the second season. How many episodes are in this series? Uh, seven. Oh, no. Well, the one sort of being out there is a Christmas special. Uh, at Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah. You Channel have. four, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, yeah, the six going out as of June the first. Yeah. And of course, as a second series, we were saying backstage. Uh, you know, obviously, the big difference uh, in the series is, of course, Rick Mail. We lost Rick yeah. Mail last year. Yeah. So, had you written it already, or were you writing I, it? I've written most of it. Yes. And I was, you know, very excited to sort of see the crazy dad that he played so beautifully harassed me in the second series, so I had written it and I had all sorts of horrendous set pieces for him to do that I know he would have loved doing, and, uh, but sadly, no, it's not to be. Because it must have been a big hurdle to overcome, to kind of think, okay, what are we going to do? Oh, it's awful. Second series it's awful. Yeah. It was awful, because he was the... I didn't even think he'd say yes, he was the fantasy casting to play my dad, because, you know, I've morphed into him. <laughs> you do look very like him. I do. Yeah. Do you know, once on set, I accidentally did this. I don't know, I swear it was accidental, I was just adjusting my face. <laughs> and he went, don't do that, that's mine. <laughs> he was amazing though, he was, a, he was a force of nature. So how did you, I mean, replace him as a horror word, but how did you kind of uh, alter the story? Oh, well I've, I've brought in, uh, I, I didn't want to, I didn't try and replace him, because you can't replace him. Yeah. So I brought, I've, we, we go and find his uh, equally eccentric sister. Oh, played by Stephanie Cole, who's amazing. But she's a very she she sort of takes over the role of making my life misery. But she's a, a very different misery maker. But you know, I mean, there's no point in trying to uh, replace Rick. He was incredible. Did I tell you what? I'm not sure I've ever told. I told what he said to me when I rang him up to offer him the part. Yeah. We we'd filmed the pilot, and I was on holiday in Spain. And I got the, uh, they said, I've got the series, so I rang him from Spain, and, it, and he answered the phone by saying, Greg, you fat prick. <laughs> and I said, hello, Rick. And I said, I just want to let you know, we've been given a go-ahead on the series. And he said, why should I care about that? <laughs> so I said, well, because I was hoping you'd play my dad. And he said, in that case, congratulations. <laughs> He was wicked. He was such a great fun. And one of the things that hasn't changed is that you still take quite a lot of it from your own life. Like, yeah. the, that scene in episode one, the doctor's thing. Yeah. Did that really happen? Yeah. I, my mum will kill me for telling this because it was my... Our, our, <laughs> our family doctor.